that was the start of, of that body of work in, it was 2013, um, it was at the Villa Arsan in Nice. And then when I realized that you could cut an object and set it into a, a pictorial plane such that it would become an image of itself, I started playing with more objects. And it's a bit like making a fresco where you have to paint until the uh, until the, the the plaster cures and then it's game over. Resin is the same, it's, it's liquid for a while and I've got a certain amount of time to uh, can work with it to get the image absolutely perfect and then then it's frozen in time and forever. It's a kind of collection of things from my life. Uh, musical instruments that I've played, sometimes played to the end of their lives. This is a guitar that I, um, you know, have played every single fret on it. The way I think about the world has always been coloured by my, my musical perception of it. Um, but really it's the, it's the meeting point of how we see and how we hear um, that I find interesting. This guy called Michel Chion, who's a French cinematic theorist, who even said that there's like another sense at the meeting point of sight and vision. He calls it audio vision. And um, um, these sculptures that I make are like um, ultrasound images of the world. They're, they're a way of hearing through an object or, or you know, seeing how it sounds. It's a bit like improvising in music. You know, like, you know exactly what the harmonic structure is, uh, and that's how you can improvise jazz, because you know what the underlying form is. It's bit, that's what this is like. It's, um, that's why it's exciting and fun. The, the moment you put the, the catalyst in the resin and it starts to, to cure, because it's like a performance. You only have a certain amount of time and one shot. Oh, that's quite nice.